what's up kid family welcome back to the channel on the last video guys you seen me wash the hyundai genesis wheels for those of you that are just joining us we picked up some 2014 hyundai genesis base model wheels front and rear for a killer deal 40 dollars for all four wheels and now we're gonna try them on our eighth gen civic now recently we lowered the honda civic with true heart sport shocks megan racing lowering springs and the car sits perfect the factory wheels are a little bit flush so let's see how these will fit so on today's video we're gonna mock these up on the eighth gen civic temporarily see the fitment see the offset see if it's worth putting some tires on these wheels and running them and again because we are not on coilovers our suspension is not adjustable so that makes it that much harder to create a perfect fitment the first time around without rubbing without any problems so stay tuned and keep watching this video. Oh man, forgive the brake rotors guys, I haven't been driving the car for a few days now. But here is the suspension that we installed again. Megan Racing, True Heart, uh, Sport Shocks. I am going to do a full review of this suspension in future videos. But for now, what I want to do, let's put this wheel on. So these wheels are 5x114 bolt pattern. That's specifically why I also bought them. Because I knew, worst case scenario, if I can't flip them, I can run them on my car. They got a nice finish, they got a simple but nice design. The fitment is much better than the factory fitment which tugs. Coming around back, we have plenty of room right over here between the shock and the wheel. And this is one of the most important things. You don't want to have lack of clearances in this area right here. So that's perfect from the inside. Now to check the clearances from fender to wheel, what we're going to do, we got a 2x4. So we're going to just place under the wheel here and we got these very thick styrofoam pads like so thick i could barely squeeze them so we're going to just put a few of those under here and hopefully that will do the job all we're trying to do is just preload the suspension so the wheel sits lower so let's bring the car down a little bit here Right, that's all the way down so right now it's just suspension doing all the work right now and you can see we have this much room for a tire again the inside is perfect the outside man much better than stock i'll tell you that much let's just give you guys a look right over here how it looks that looks pretty darn good in my opinion dang i like it I like it. It's a nice, simple design. I'm just curious what kind of tire would be perfect for that. Well, now let's do the rear, I guess. We can check the rear. Again, it is a staggered setup. So the front is a 18 by 7.5 with a 32 millimeter offset. Though the rear is actually a little bit wider. It's a half inch wider. It's an 18 by 8 and it has a lower offset, a 30 offset. So these will poke out a little bit more. So, I mean, typically a rear wheel drive, you know, it's giving you a bigger wheel for more tire so you can have more grip. But on our car, uh, that's looking hot. What do you guys think? Comment down below. What do you think about the Hyundai wheels? Also with the with the offset being lower, 
it's obviously going to push the brake calipers further away from the wheel so you can see right there there's plenty of room between the brake caliper and the wheel so nothing to worry about there i'm just trying to think again what kind of tire would work with this wheel setup here if we did choose to run it and you know for a seven and a half inch wheel probably the best bet with a tiny bit of stretch is gonna be a 215 because right now we got a 17 by 7 so a 7 inch we inch wheel and we are running 225s on the 7 inch wheel and it's just too big of a tire on a 7 inch wheel 225 on a 7.5 wouldn't be that bad but again we have to consider that we want a little bit of stretch here all right so now we see how the fitment is what i want to do real quick i want to throw in the wider wheel in the front to check the difference and see how it looks up front Here comes the big boy. And these wheels obviously have a bigger center bore in them. The hole is bigger than our factory hub. So to do things right, if we're gonna run this setup, we need hub-centric ring adapters. Now, the Honda has a factory hub of 64.1, if I'm not mistaken. And these factory hubs of these Hyundais were I think uh, 67.1, so they're a few millimeters bigger. All right, let's take a quick peek again. Plenty of room in the back, plenty of room with the brakes, but man, we are just about flush with this fender here. Let me bring this up, take a look, it's definitely sitting wider, oh yeah, it's definitely sitting about 5 to 6 millimeters further away than the, the front wheel right over here so that's very aggressive in the front especially since these are the wheels that are going to be turning in and out they might cause a lot more problems with rubbing on the inner fender liner and whatnot so yeah these wheels would definitely have to stay in the back of the vehicle that's just the way things are going to have to be but they look they look pretty sharp no Kind of makes the 17s look outdated and I thought those wheels looked fresh. I hope you guys don't fall from there. closer what's going on in the rear in the rear again we got to make sure we have some clearances here on the 8th gen Civic as you can see right over here we have the, the fuel hose that goes down and this is like a plastic cover as you can see back in the day I was rubbing over here when I was running my 17 by 9.7 525 millimeter offset uh, XXR 527s very aggressive fitment back then I was running uh, camber gang as well right now it's okay we have a little bit of clearance here let's bring the car down and see how it looks with the car down but right now it's pretty pretty dang pokey huh all right let's set you guys down She sits, she's all the way down on the ground. One thing I hate when you get a more aggressive wheel and it sticks out further, 
your actual ride height looks like it's bigger. See, when I was tucking with the SI wheels, it looked a lot lower. But once you bring the wheels out, the kind of, if it, I don't know if it's an illusion, but it makes it seem like you need to go even lower than you were before. But uh, let's check the back. We got a good inch and a half of clearance with the cover for the fuel line. Everything else is fine. Again, I'm running drum brakes in the rear, so calipers, I'm pretty sure, small calipers in our Civics would, Civics would clear, no problem. And man, I mean, I'm telling you guys, we, we are hella flush, hella flush right there. Let me get the stick and do the official test right now. But what do you guys think, man? I mean, I, I love these wheels, but dang, look at that. That's just like popping right there. What do you guys think? I love how, how bright they are right now. Right, let's take a look right here. Yeah, as you can see, we are right there. Interesting, interesting. And I got a lot of I got a lot of calculations going up in my head right now to see what kind of tire size would fit the best. I haven't been uh, stancing cars out in a minute, so I'm kind of getting rusty when it comes down to tire size and fitment and stretch and all that. There's plenty of calculators online that will help you, such as willtheyfit.com. You can put your specs in of your factory wheels, your new wheels, your tire sizes, and it's actually going to give you a nice measurement of how much further the new wheels stick out, how many millimeters you have of extra space by the shock so highly recommend it check it out willtheyfit.com not sponsored or anything but i've been using their site and it helps me a bunch get the wheels fitted right all right guys well that just about sums it up for this video make sure you guys like this video if we get uh, 10,000 likes on this video we are going to buy tires and we're just going to slap these things on but here's the kicker i know we're not going to get 10,000 likes on this video so I'm I'm really digging the bright hyper silver finish on these. I mean like these wheels just look bland and boring right now where these things just pop. They kind of look almost white in a way. Again, I'm not a fan of 18s. I think uh 18s are just gonna be too big for this car. I'm gonna have to run a such a low profile tire in the city streets where we live. It's terrible and then you're just gonna ruin your wheels. It's not even worth it and I really do like a big beefier tire I've ran fitment uh, setups in my life multiple times stretches and whatnot and you know what right now I'm digging a nice wheel fitment with at least a 40 45 series tire on it just like the ones that we're running right now if those SI's were just a little bit wider like a 17 by 8 with let's say a 40 to 35 millimeter offset that would be ideal setup and you know if if worst comes to worst we're just going to keep looking for a setup like that but i like to keep things oem just because the car looks a little bit cleaner with oem set of wheels if you get some bronze wheels or some you know vossens volks all that kind of stuff it just looks out of place for a car that's a daily driver and you know i ain't trying to flex a grocery getter honda civic right here i'm just trying to make it look a little cleaner you know keep it looking oem so for the most part i've been rocking a lot of oem setups on my car probably a dozen if not more and then i've ran a bunch of tuner wheels as well don't get me wrong the tuner wheels look good but i was on coilovers back then i had the adjustability right now i don't and i'm not trying to work on this car and adjust coilovers every day of my life like back in the past it was just a headache it's much easier and simpler to run a spring setup and have a decent wheel set up so i'm gonna end this video right now thanks for watching guys appreciate it comment down below again don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel help me out help me grow so we can do cooler things as the channel progresses thanks and i'll see you on the next one i ain't here for the money i ain't here for the fame though it might be nice to own a jet plane i'ma do it all for you come along and see us